Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today we are back with episode 9 of I Hate My Wardrobe. I apologize for the lighting. It is only, it's 2.14 in the afternoon. Um, I use like the 12 hour clock, I don't use the 24 hour clock, so 2.15 in the afternoon. Um, it is about to absolutely pour it seems but we are also at the time of year where our days are really quite short um not quite as short as places further north but i i live in the northern i live in canada i live in the north um not the north of canada just the north of my continent so our days are quite short this time of year so i'm really sorry for what's going to be either very inconsistent lighting and also like quite a bit of like weird shadows because I'm relying on the lights in my room. Um, they're not too bad though on the camera. This camera is amazing for dealing with like the different lighting situations. Um, but today we are doing another closet clear out situation. This is the third declutter in a row. Um, I just have been in such a groove with this and I'm also heading to a consignment store um, soon, so I wanted to really go through and do a an initial sweep of the um, of the closet. So I wanted to get there and make sure that everything was kind of as decluttered as possible, so that I'm not leaving things behind that could have gone, you know, the drip. Anyways, today um, I am not going to be listening to an audiobook. I am in between audiobooks right now, but I am still working my way through F1. I'm very far behind um, in the season. So before there are like any spoilers or anything, so I'm just watching it. I'm currently watching um, Japan, the race in 30. So some of the races I'm watching full, some of the races I'm only watching in 30. It just depends on how interested I am in the race and like the track and stuff. Like Singapore, I of course watched the whole race but yeah so doing that we're gonna go through the top hanging section today of my closet and this is pretty much there's not going to be a ton of organization here this is going to be a pretty hardcore declutter um i'm gonna pull out everything that i want to bin um donate or consign and we're gonna really try and get some bulk out of here and hopefully free up some space in there as well as some mental clarity because I know that I've been looking at that and I've been I've been putting it off in favor of my kind of everyday stuff but with this consignment store visit coming up I really need to like get through what is going to for sure get consigned so we're gonna pop into her and I'm gonna show you guys the situation okay so we're doing this and then this back here which is a little harder for you guys to see right now but i'm going to pull you closer but i'm going to start out here and this is what i really need to do i've done this back section here which is knitwear um and really the bulk of where i'm going to be focusing is going to probably be in this middle section and at the front here so we're going to hopefully get a lot of this sorted and done and uh, hopefully that hopefully i end up with a bit more curated selection here and some good pieces to consign or at least consign moving forward in the summer kind of like the pre-summer season so Let's get to it. This closet is not super big, but it does have a good amount of storage, surprisingly. Like all of these, um, everything will need to, everything will be gone through again and everything will be like nice and organized by the time I'm done this. Um, but yeah, the series has been very therapeutic for me. Okay. Ooh. For sure, all of these.
there are just there, there are just so many tops in here that like if you look at it it's so beautiful like this for love and lemons top um but this top is like so fragile and so breakable and it's like ripped in places and oh it's just it's also like relics of when my style was very very different from what it is now <laughs> Already, this feels like so much better, and then everything else for now is gonna stay. All right, section one is done. I've moved you back into section two. Oh gosh, it's amazing, like when you cling on to things, how much stuff you like ultimately purge out um just because like at, at like an earlier date or whatever you well I didn't want to like let it go but now I'm like you don't wear it get rid of it This is all shockingly heavy. There are some things in here that I don't always wear, but I'm gonna keep because they're good for like specific things. What are you? Oh, shoot. I have like plain black trousers. I totally forgot about those. All right. This whole situation needs to get sorted. Same with this. Not you. I love you. There's so many hangers. I'm going to have to really clear this out better. This can just go out. All right, everything else is staying for a minute. Right, let's make sure that there is no empty hangers over here. been weighing on my mind um, has been pulled out so we are going to um, take stock of everything and get to work decluttering the first thing I'm going to do is just go through for like the hardcore like must throw outs um, this is like insane how much stuff there is that I just like don't wear. It's so, it's so crazy. This is also like, I want to point out years of like me not going through and consigning things when I should. So I'm very much to blame for how much is built up, but this is nuts. removed quite a bit um all right this is everything um i've just checked it over here it's all either like ripped or stained yellowed um things are falling off so this is all garbage unfortunately but that is the nature of a lot of these like white tops is they just really like really 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 yellow 
and they're like not salvageable. After time, no matter how much bleach I try and use on them, unfortunately. And hold. Okay, so that removes that. Okay. This messy on our pants. Okay. I'm gonna do the pants first because this is gonna be the fastest. Um, I kinda wanna keep you. I don't know what a cargo pants are. Style. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these. try and either like sell or consign all of my Molina pants. I just don't <laughs> wear them um, anymore. So this was a fun phase, but it is over. I need to call time of death on it for me personally. I prefer my a goldy ones. I thought that like light colored leather, faux leather, whatever was going to be for me. It's not. So, that was a hard learned lesson, a very expensive lesson. Okay. In terms of this, like the clothes, it has to definitely be broken up into summer, winter, like can be holiday, can be whatever, like all of that. So, slash like what I think has the best chance of selling. This cold shoulder shirt, um, definitely uh, uh, donate. Um, this t-shirt, I think I just need to give up on this t-shirt. I don't think it'll do anything. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's try this. Oh my god. <laughs> the one bad side of downsizing your closet is that you're always left with so many hangers because you buy hangers as your wardrobe expands and then you downsize it <laughs> hangers these are like sound close okay this for sure i think can be consigned to the season same with this this The other difficulty is like there's a time benefit as well like here so if something is yellowed but like could technically be fixed um i'm i don't know if i'm still gonna like i don't know if i would necessarily take the time to fix it because the time to fix it would it would be more than like what the clothing is worth as well so i am being a little bit ruthless with that but i think when this is just like a little side project, I want it to make sense. I don't want to devote too, too, too much time to it. You know, like it's all a sunk cost already. I'm not looking to really make up the cost of the clothes. I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to not like landfill stuff that can be like passed on. I think also, If, if the stuff was like still left over, like Brandy Melville, Abercrombie, Hollister, etc., like H&M, I would truly just donate everything. Um, but because I've now gotten into like Aritzia, stuff from Revolve, like Melina Pants, Levi's, like that, you know, like name brand clothing, um, name brand, 
we are able, I'm able, I think, to, to justify the time to consign it because it does have like the brand value behind it that's a little bit more worth it but not by much but I mean even if I make ten dollars a piece oh, it'll at least pay for my time maybe holy crap what am I supposed to do with all of these hangers I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put a bunch of these in storage okay so we are now sorted on this front and I think I'm gonna leave this video here because I'm gonna a lot of this stuff that you're gonna see like about like what the piece is being consigned everything like that um they're actually like you'll see pretty much the whole process of the consigning and stuff in episode 11 that I'm working on but yeah there we go that's everything pulled out. I'm going to show you guys like the finished wardrobe. Like I said, we did not do like an organized by any means, but you know, you see there's some, some mixed up things here, but the whole, like the bulk is out of my wardrobe. It's easy to open things and stuff. Yes, there's still more clothes to be put back in a way, but this feels so much less overwhelming especially in my button down section we're now just left with like my go-to button downs that i love over here again haven't organized it but so much bulk has come out of this so that is very 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 exciting i'm definitely looking forward to doing more organizing and you know season after season hopefully this gets even more refined and there are still some things that I obviously like haven't parted ways with that maybe I should part ways with but I'm just not ready like a very good and pretty ruthless first step so yeah I'm going to um flip over to filming episode 11 um while everything's out and I will yeah I will see you guys in the next video Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later.